And we are rolling out. We got the TL, the S2000, the Skyline. We got a James Running Shacks LS400. There's a Z32, the Integra. We are scraping. Yikes. <laughs> Yo, nasty. So I just cruised it with Moni and his TL. We got the purple truck here. James just uh, drove Shaq's LS400 in here. <clears throat> we got Danny in the S2K. What's up, bro? Yo, happy birthday, dog. For sure. Hell yeah, we got the S2K. What's up, Jeez? We got the uh, R33. And what's up, man? And we got the, uh, the Teggy, too. Nasty. Cool, I'm actually excited to get a quick video of this truck for you guys. I've been wanting to grab a bit of this for a while now. These things are so cool. Big bed cover too, which is uh, pretty unusual. I feel like, I feel like usually they're just open bed. Big unibody Dodge, uh, Dodge truck. They were a factory thing that used to be like vans that they cut into pickups and sold kind of like the Ford Eco line. Got a couple other cool rods over here older uh, Ford pick. Oh, I love the uh, American racing wheels, that matte black with the matte white. Oh, and check out that wood grain. Beautiful. Right over here, I think this is a 69 Shelby GT500. Very, very cool to see. Ooh, I stand corrected, actually. This one is a 1968. Damn. And we got a Rolls Royce. I mean, there's just some crazy cars sitting over here right now. We'll walk around that in a second. I really wanted to show you guys a 1957 BMW 507 Roadster. V8 in this thing. Wow. Dirty. Here's the, uh, the Rolls. I was counting shows we have I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. My apologies. Love the antenna though. Pillarless. Little rag top. Crazy. Big fan of this car though. Limited production, pretty rare car. A lot of cars at the Bentley show today. I wanted to give a uh, a special thanks to this guy right here. Um, this guy is 14 years old. This is his uh, yellow Chevy Love. And he uh, went out of his way to draw this pretty cool picture I'm gonna throw up on the screen right now. Um, but it's just a cool gesture of him to do. I guess he's been, uh, I think he's been practicing on some other cars too, but really appreciate it, man, for real. Wanted to show you a little extra love in this video for, you know, your really cool gesture, man. But we're gonna keep walking around. Truck has a beautiful stance with all the airbrush accents. A little uh, fox body. Wow, that's a big cowl hood. I think that's almost a four inch rise. Chevy Coupe. Got a, uh, I think it's a Chevelle SS 1970. And man, something kind of cool about this cowl hood too. It's that little vent that comes up right there. Lexus is parked right up over here. Oh, that's a pretty sweet Camaro right there. Pretty big fan of this actually. It's a uh, Plymouth Duster. It's a 1970. Love these like, I thought they were American racing wheels, but I think they're, uh, there's something else. Keystones, interesting. I didn't know Keystone made those. I thought they were all American racing. So that old black trick we used to have might've even been Keystones and not, uh, not the uh, ARs. But, oh, I love that Ford pickup. Got the uh, another Fox body here. It's a 5.0. Speaking of 5.0, I got this really just crazy cool car to show you guys. So this is a 1950s Ford, but the 5.0 was swapped into it essentially. The whole 50s Ford body was put onto a uh, 2013 Ford Mustang chassis with just like perfect fitment. It was it was widened. I mean, this car has some crazy custom attributes. Look at the interior on this thing. Like what? This is a uh, this is a good friend's car. So I've, he just just picked it up. I think literally yesterday. So it's just cool to be able to show you guys just what it is. I mean, it is crazy, crazy cool, custom. Very weird to think about though. There's so many things where you're like, wow, how did they do this? How did they do that? And it's just the, the body is put on the 2013 Mustang chassis. Not all of this stuff was imported into the 50s Ford. So 
literally the looks of an old car with all the modern uh, technology. Another thing right here is this Ford five window coupe. It's a 1936. I think it was definitely dumped in the 90s because of these two things. The wheels are very 90s period correct. Very cool though. I like that style a lot. And we got the pearlescent paint. Sorry, I don't mind the extra voice. They're uh, announcing the tickets. This is the end of the show. I showed up a little late. Oh, and this International Scout too. This is this is kind of cool actually. This one's kind of set up like a little bit of a pickup instead of the SUV version of the Scout. So it looks like, actually, it is essentially, I thought the hard top was gonna be removable, and it may be, but it looks looks like it's on there pretty, uh, pretty snug. You got your whole bed right here. All right, so right over here we have this 57 Chevy. And one thing I think is kind of cool about it is, I've seen the four doors and everything, but I really like this four door because it's shaved. It's like a perfect look for the four doors, I think. Usually I'm not a hater, two door, four door, it doesn't really matter. But the fact that it's shaved gives it a really good look. And then, you got this monster of a tire back here. It's like a foot plus wide in the back. It's another pretty interesting car to see here. It's an all original 1936 Chevy and it's a coupe too. Again, another thing I, I think with these cars is usually when you see these, since they were family cars and all that back in the day, usually they're four doors and you got your big luggage trunk, but this one does not have that. It's pretty, pretty cool to see. Wow, there's like no trunk at all actually, now that I see it, just a spot for the spare. Again, pretty clean little car. So this is another car I cannot miss. This is a 49 Ford. I have a friend of the 49 Mercury with a very similar color, but his is a way more custom, chop channeled, bagged bodied Mercury. But this thing is just beautiful. On some Cadillac wheels. And it's, a, and it's convertible, which is just wild all in itself. Well, if you've been watching my channel for long enough, you already know the story behind the Ford Edsel and this is a Ford Edsel Ranger. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, beauty of this car. It's like one of my favorite cars to see out and about just because it's so different from what other factories were doing at the time. One thing to note in this video too, especially with this back here, this car is 20 feet long all the way across. We just watched a full grown dude ro roll in on this and it was pretty sick. Look how small this bike is. For comparison, that is my foot compared to this bike. All right, guys, so you guys are getting a little bit of bike content in this video. I just wanted to point out this Ducati is pretty sick. It's a little 900 with the dry clutch. You can see it in the front there. And then we have someone made this uh, the Strike. That's kind of cool. I didn't notice it at first. Big, uh, big long uh, forks in the front. You got your gauges right in the center of the front of the seat with 59 Cadillac taillights. And uh, I'm a little curious on what's powering it. Not, uh, not too sure, to be honest with you. But regardless, pretty sick. All right, so this is another cool car I wanted to show some love. It's a 66 Charger. I have not seen this around. This one's yellow. I think it's all pretty factory. And again, the biggest thing that's really cool about these cars is the single center console that goes all the way to the rear. And we'll walk down the front and show you guys what the front of the car looks like. So I'll park next to Raimi. There's this beautiful colored <laughs> 84 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. It is an SS. Like I said, very, very, very cool. This is actually one of the, uh, this is the second year that Monte Carlo had the uh, SS in these, uh, in this fourth generation. What a beautiful color though, seriously. I cannot get over that. And right over here we have a 55 Nomad. No windows in the back here. I've actually heard this man's owned this car for a really long time. Beautiful, beautiful paint, great car on SS Gravers. And I'll try to get a uh, video of the front of it. Try to reduce some glare, but it's pretty hard. The sun's uh, going down as we speak.
pretty sweet with the trailer set up. They didn't even have to run for the split. Yeah. Oh! <laughs>